left in the game. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. She's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym. And in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle. I don't want to do jiu-jitsu. I don't want to kick, box, and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have thrown that takedown. 5,000 times, Amazing. over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no, I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Tatiana Schwartz! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, five losses, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Cynthia Camilo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliata. So Dan Bergliata shares the cage you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. We're expecting a lot of action, and really to see both women challenged in all phases of mixed martial arts. They're both so talented. They're both so good at every aspect of fighting. I that is how you scramble, folks. Great punch. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Big kick lands. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, big over. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, big knee. She said she, all right, so she finally gets the takedown here after many failed attempts. Obviously, she was not discouraged, stayed committed. Now she has the fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Let's see what see she, she can, can do. Set up the arm bar now. In attack and arm bar. She gives up her back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. We could get a finish here in the not too distant future. Yes, she's very dangerous from the top. She's so good at controlling the hip. She's so good at just being aware and taking advantage of any opportunity to finish. 
that now she finds herself taking her back with the chance to try to end this fight. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and get back to your feet. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's gonna be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Oh, and she gives up her back here, DC. Not ideal. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but in this state, it's desperation a little bit. She's been getting battered. She's been getting bruised. She was mounted. What was she going to do? Stay on the bottom getting mounted and beat up? Or was she going to try to give her back and get to her feet? Now the journey, now the fight has really just begun because she has one of the best jiu-jitsu players in the entire world on her back. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good is her arm ball. We'll see if she can set it up here. Attacking arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round.
Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. All right, she's got north-south position now, DC. We don't see a lot of north-south chokes in the UFC, but what is she trying to do here from what is a dominant position? Well, you know, it's, the north-south choke is very difficult because everybody is so well-versed in submission defense now. Right. But if done the correct way, it can happen. But you hit that north-south. Going for an arm bar now. control for her now, and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me that. Oh, pretty good job there. Do you believe it? get the crowd on its feet, a near perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate, and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. Official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Cynthia Cavill. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to